Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today, I've got another cooking video. Yesterday, my mum put up the tree and then she put the lights on and stuff and it's my turn to decorate the tree. So, I've started going through and sorting out what bits we've got and I'm going to show you and explain it all and then I'll put a few bits on and then I'll just keep you updated throughout. So obviously I want to do a Christmas music but I can't about the vlogging. So, before I show you all the decorations, please give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe down below and let's get into it. So, these are all like the decorations and stuff, I'm going to talk you through it. So, basically we don't have any good decorations because like these decorations are very old and quite a lot of them are losing like the string bit on the top or a few broke or the many in a set. So I went out last year to, I think it was Tesco, and I purchased some decent Christmas baubles and they are really beautiful. And these are also down here. Ones like that. And also, these are the new ones. All the rest are quite old. As you well in here, this is the star to go on top of the tree. It sometimes fit, or oh, it is a struggle to put it on, but it does fit just about. But I might get some steps because I'm not actually tall enough. And then, in here, these are quite recent, these ones, actually. These are more recent ones. And I quite like this. And then, we've got these and there's our names on. And we've got, and we've got some, like, fancy glass ones. So these are new. When I mean new, I mean, like, two or three years. Maybe even, like, three or four years ago. These were literally new last year because we literally were running out and it didn't look great. So I'm so invested in some new ones. I think these were only five pounds in Tesco's. I may be wrong, but they're roughly five pounds. These I have not only really these left, but these to go on my these go on my wall, my window, upstairs in my room. We've got some like Christmassy bits in there. I don't know if any. I don't think that good. Now these bits decorate the house with. Um, there's some more baubles here, and then in here we have some like signs, like ho ho signs. We the, we also have these Christmas lights, which I might put up somewhere as well because there's two sets of the Christmas tree. I may put these up somewhere as well, just give it that extra festive feel. Because my Christmas lights in my room, I'll turn them on and show you. They I haven't had them on since last Christmas, but they stay up in my room because they're hung up with nails and stuff so we just keep them up but just don't turn them on during the year and we've got these and then in here we have these like the very old ones and half of these we don't tend to have string or wall walls on we've got a few bits and bits in there and yeah so I'm going to go and decorate the tree so if oh yeah also before I forget if you watch my Christmas haul video I went to the Christmas shop and um, I bought a few um, light bits and bobs um, I got this I got this if you just watch my Christmas haul video and I got some scented pine cones which I'll show you where they've been put and then I got a star and a bauble in here which are going to go onto the which are going to go onto the Christmas tree probably can't hear about but they are wrapped up in there so these are also going to go on the Christmas tree oh yeah I need to go back up because I'm going to show you my Christmas lights So they stay up all year because they're on like nails. Not nails, yeah, nails. From the rain. It's only like tenor or something. But they're up like with nails. Haven't had these on since last Christmas, so I look how beautiful they look. They don't quite go around on my room. But when it's dark and my blind shut, they actually stands out. And they look beautiful. And then when they've got the snowflakes on as well, it looks really, really, really good. So 
So now I'm going to go and start. Might have to get the steps out, actually. To be able to put the star on the top. But the, by the end of this vlog, the Christmas tree is going to be complete. So, I think I'm going to start with the ones that I bought last year, the new ones from Tesco's. And they are some beautiful ones. I'm going to put them on here and actually show you. So we've got ones like this. There's only one packet, ones like this. Ones like this. They're gorgeous. And we're going to properly, like, we're going to properly, properly, like, spread them out and stuff on through the tree. I think there's about five or six of each, I'm not entirely sure. And then I'm going to go with some of these because they're quite, like, big ones. And then I'll start filling in with all these. If I decide to put them lights up somewhere, I'll let you know. I've got to put the wreath on front of the door. There's all sorts going on. But I'm going to vlog it. I'm going to try and vlog it, but obviously I want to do it with Christmas music on. So it's going to be a challenge. And every year I always say, spread them out, like make it look good. But also, people always put, people always put like load, load, load at the front. But then they don't put any light behind the back. So I need to actually pull the tree out. Yes, yeah, that's why all this stuff is here. And the DVD rack is now there. Because, let's clear it out. That rack was there. And all this stuff was in that corner. And obviously got the tree on. As you can tell, the lights are now changed to flashing mode. I have just made some mince pies. So if you haven't checked that out video, please go check it out. And this is my Christmas calendar this year. So it's basically like um, pictures. So the 1st of December I got this little picture. And then on the 2nd I got this cute bobble with a cute little doggy. And on the 3rd of December, which is today, I got... Oh, I've just opened it. Oh, it's a girl with a teddy bear. So these pictures are really nice. Obviously, the 25th one. Oh, no, no, no. Some of them only go up to 24. Some of them go 25th. This one goes up to 24. And this was a Clinton's one that I got given. But yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to get decorating and I'll keep you posted throughout. And I'll make sure to try and vlog as much, much as possible. I may do um, oh, a time lapse. I may do a time lapse if I turn them. If I've got through it quite quick, I might turn the music off and do a quick time lapse. And you can see me doing this. But I've, got to pull, I've got to pull the tree out so I can get around the back. I have got to get the steps so I can put the star on the top. I've got to put the wreath on the door. So there's loads to do. But it is only 1.15, no, 1.20 in the afternoon. So I've got most of the day left. And I will keep it. Also, what I like about the tree is, uh, you may think I've put these pine cones on. These actually are already on the tree. Oh, yeah, the pine cones that I've got upstairs, they've been added to this. So this is something that we put here at Christmas. So it looks like it's got loads and loads of pine cones. They did not come like that. These these have all been added. These I like that one's attached. But like the majority of them have been added. These are the scented pine cones that I was on about. If you could smell them you would know how real they were. They were from the um Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. Not Bath and Body Works. Um, Yorkshire Soap Company, Yorkshire Soap Company, um, and they were like four ninety nine or something, and they are actually worth it for the smell. They are worth it, and when you mix it in here, it just gives the whole room a nice, like, nice scent. So I'm just talking now. I'm gonna crack on with this treat, and I'll keep you updated throughout. And also vlog putting the wreath on the door. I might even vlog me putting the star on the top, stuff like that. Some people never put a star or anything on the top, star or angel, because it never fits. We do. And it does fit. 
but sometimes it droops but it does fit and that is my first ball ball this year and I'll crack on so these are the new ones I do recommend like if you want like a good set of baubles Tesco's are good because I literally got this whole set for like five or six pounds last year and it wasn't like sale price but it was full price the rest of them we've had for quite a long time apart from the other box I told you which was like a few years old but I invested in some new baubles last year and it was totally worth it totally worth investing in some new baubles last year oh yeah so if you haven't seen my Christmas I don't know where I put it thing that I brought downstairs with my new baubles from this year. I always feel like every year you need a new addition to the tree. I don't... I completely, utterly gone mental and lost it. Oh no, it's here. If I know what's in here, you have to watch my video because otherwise I'm probably making that video if I show on this video. Um, this is all video. There's a star The star and also like a silvery bauble, like a silvery bauble. So I always, this is a Christmas shop in town. It's open all year round, but no, well I've never, I didn't go in last year, and the year went at Christmas. So so I say every year. I figure like every single year. It's nice to have a new addition to the Christmas tree, but you can't, like last year I invested into new baubles, you can't do that every single year. But it is nice just to get that, even if it's only one thing, it's nice to have one extra thing. It's nice to have that one extra thing to go on the tree. It's nice to have just, even if it's just one bauble, nice to have something new. And I really like, it's got like a pine cone on it. I actually love this tree. And the, I actually think the pine cones that I bought a few weeks ago that have gone on here actually fit beautifully. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with this tree, bang some Christmas movie con, and I'll keep you updated throughout. And I'll show you the finished product as well. I'll keep you posted throughout as well. And let you know everything Christmassy oh, that's going on. The so far is, I've just listened to a little mix new Christmas song, which is absolutely amazing. I love it. So it's got the steps out and the star is officially on top of the tree. It's not drooping because I had to put quite a few um, branches in it to make it stand up. It doesn't look great how it is. But the star is up on top of the tree. And now I'm going to start like decorating it with baubles and stuff. But I've kept the steps out. Because when I go up on the steps I can... Um, I need to keep them out so then I can do decorations like up here because from down there I won't be able to reach up here so yeah let's put the tree up like that do not look great but it's the only way I could, it's the only way I could stand it up because I thought it was like drooping it might still droop anyway but I need to keep basically what I'm trying to say is I need to keep the steps out then I can put some decorations I put some big ones so we know that this side is going to be like at the front so I need to put some like bigger decorations up there and we've also that's like the space where it's going where it came from and I've pulled the tree out then I can now go around the back there isn't as much room down the side but you can go around the back so that's, that's the current update Christmas tree pulled out steps are out star is on and baubles are about to go on I'll catch up with these super super soon and I can't wait to put these on because look just I can't get over how gorgeous these ones look. Look how amazing they look. That's probably going to be it. That's probably... Oh, I've, just dropped, I've dropped it already. I should probably do it with the lights off. I don't know. Do you have to do it with the lights off? Do you have to do it with the lights off? I don't know, but I'm going to get decorated with baubles and that. And I'll keep you updated as soon as... I've decorated with baubles and stuff and I'm going to put the wreath on the front of the door but I'll catch up with you in a bit <clears throat> so the update is if you can hear the noise in the back of the washing machine but the update at the moment is because it's getting dark this tree looks amazing it's not finished but I'm giving you like a my, mini update so basically the start as I already said is on it is drooping to one side a little bit but it is on 
Need all all the nice decorations, all the bauble stuff are on. I only found two of like these ones that didn't have any thread. But look how beautiful it looks. Got like the stuff. That's what I was on about when I was in the box and I said I got that. That I think is absolutely stunning. Like a white forest or whatever you want to call it. And the other one is a star, which is this one here. Um, obviously there's gaps like here. There's a quite a big gap. Well, like this bit here didn't have anything. So I need to fill that in. So what have I got left? So I've still got these put on my wall. But then there's literally only like five and I swear it was like 20. And I've also got my Christmas box upstairs to delve into. And so basically that tin is now empty, that box is empty, that box is empty. The only one left to do is this box. And quite a these this needs sorting out. We need to like separate like usable ones to not usable ones. And like and like sort them out and then put these on the tree and then the tree is basically done after that but I do need to go and sort out my Christmas box which I haven't even got out yet I'll let the wreath to put on probably another day but the wreath is that let's turn that on so my my room's a bit of a tip, not gonna lie. Gotta be careful what I show in this drawer. Actually, I'm probably doing a different drawer. Don't so this is my like Christmassy tub. I bought this tub last year. I think it's from the range. I can't remember. This is like my Christmassy tub. So now I've got to open it up and see what I need out of it. I can't remember what's doing in here. There's all sorts in my Christmassy tub. I've got tags, like Christmassy tags. There's ten, there's obviously not ten left. I've got Christmas bow. I have a Christmas I have like a mini Christmas gift bag, which is perfect for my sister's present. Um I have this to get out, which I'm gonna put up there just for the time being. Um, I've got loads of, I've got loads of like Christmassy bows and bits and bobs. This to hang on, oh, that looks a bit droopy but I've got tinsel I'm going to put around my room. Oh, I've got these. This did say Merry Christmas on my window but I don't know whether they're going to go on. But I've got like these little these snowflakes to put on my room and if you look at these like I've got this like set of bows I've got loads of bows wrapping I left them last year so I don't have any of it this year there's Merry Christmas on it and then I've even got like green ones and like red ones and I've dropped that green one I don't know where it's gone so I've got all sorts and I've got this like spiral ribbon stuff I literally have so much stuff in here it's like and I think these are so like beautiful and glittery I've also like green ones and red ones. So I've got this, this too. I usually put it like over my bed here, but it does fall off. So this, that little bit of paper that I just, I think this is only one of the stuff I've left. I can't show you the drop. Cause I've got this to put onto my actual that usually goes on my desk and this needs to go on my window but yes yeah, so this is my like oh more ribbon I think this is a really cute like little so I've got a medium and a large a small and a large so okay, I've got two sizes so that's perfect for my sister she's probably got lots of this it's all good so I've got like a bow oh, I'm just obsessed like, although this is like plain bird, I can say the set, but I prefer these ones actually. Right, you know, like that one's pretty cool. And 
Like, I've got pretty much all of them. Pretty much all the ones that I left are the tiny ones, because I actually used all the large ones and the medium ones. But literally, just all the tiny ones left. But well, they come with, like, the sticky back bit on anyway, so you don't, like... It's just so pretty. I just, this is my, so basically, this is like my Christmassy tub. So I'm going to pop the lid back on here now. So I've got my Christmassy bits. My Christmassy tub away. And I've got tinsel. So basically, these are officially now dark. It's not even 4 o'clock and it's pitch black. Actually, no, I think it is. Let me find out what time it is. It is, oh, it's 4.13, but it's pitch black. <coughs> so these go, like, here-ish. Obviously through the thing, but, like, here -ish. And I'm going to put my Christmas lights on. And it feels so, like, festive. And I am definitely in the Halloween, the Christmas, I meant Christmas, in the Christmas spirit. Like, I definitely not stay in there. But I don't know where else to put it for the time being. Just got it out. I actually forgot how much Christmas decorations and stuff. When I start wrapping presents, I've actually bought every single Christmas present already this year. So every single Christmas present that I'm buying this year is bought. And I don't want to do the same as last year. Because last year I basically bought in advance like this year. And then it got to like a week before Christmas and I wrapped none. So I am going to start wrapping. But I, I used to, last year, I had gift bags, three different gift bags, four, five different gift bags, and just dropped a present in each bag for the right person. But, I haven't got that many gift bags. And gift bags are expensive. Like the ones that I found, they're like £1.29 each. When you buy four or five, I don't, I don't think that's a whole present extra. But last year I did do it. But I think we have some spells last year that I might just reuse or something. Or if not, I might have to go and actually get a gift bag. But... I usually drop them into the bags. But then it got to like a week before Christmas and I hadn't started. And then the night before Christmas I was quickly wrapping presents up and I'm like, this is stupid. I literally have been buying presents. Literally finished buying about a month ago. I bought a calendar for my mum last year back in like October because I had some like deal on. I get her one every year so sure this is not a big deal. But yeah, a present in the post came today. And it's a really, really good one. And I think it was the most present I bought the entire Christmas. It's just so pretty. When the flakes go in the window, if I remember, I'll try and show you. And I'm also going to show you the finished Christmas tree when it's done. Here is the statue. finished Christmas tree. Uh, I did put a few, like, drums and bits on. Quite a lot of them... Oh, just pulled it off. Quite a lot of them don't have ribbon and stuff. So I, I have just put a few on, but I am going to go through the remainder of the tub and double check. And if there are any that can go on, I will additionally put them on. But not right now, I've got stuff to do. But I have put a few bits on. And also I think this one's quite cute with my name on it. It's like a money box, I'm not sure how you get the money out so you don't put money in it. And I think this one's quite cute as well. And that one's my favourite, that's the new edition from this year. Also this year, as I was, and this one, as I was saying, new addition each year. Still got to put the tree back, but I am very cautious. I might get my mum to do it, because I'm cautious that picking it up and moving it, that all the baubles and stuff will fall off. It's a lot easier when nothing's on it, move it out. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. If you can't really hear me, the washing machine is in the background. So, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you like this vlog, because I haven't vlogged in a while. I haven't vlogged in ages. That's the top of the tree. I haven't vlogged in a long, long time. I'm doing lots of cooking videos. Please check out our mince pie video. Please check out my Christmas haul video and every other video because I'm doing vlogmas. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. And I'll give you one little rundown. And I'll see you super, super soon in another video. Thank you and goodbye.